Hello, Rob Pappen here, and welcome to an overview for Punch 2. As you can see, the layout has changed, and we have introduced a new main screen. The main screen allows you to quickly add drum kits, being creative and productive without going too deep. All 24 drum pads are visible, and below them you can find the playback pads which can be used to trigger the built-in sequencers or for triggering the sliced loop or rect file. Here you can also find the audition pad, which instantly gives you an overall impression of what to expect inside the drum kit preset. And yes, if you love to work with your own samples, you can use drag and drop and throw your samples directly onto any pad you choose. In the lower part of the main screen, you can find a section where you can edit the selected pad. The most important parameters are visible. For instance, you can pick another preset folder, preset or even switch from the type of sound on a pad. You will also find other essential parameters here. So even if you like to tweak a bit more, you still can remain on the main screen. Also in the lower part, you will find the most important parameters from the master section. Here you can tweak the overall sound if needed. For instance, use the filter on a drum kit. Listen to this example for instance. So again, the main page of Punch2 is a perfect tool to help you work quickly and creatively. If you like to go deeper with editing in Punch2, you can go to the top section, for instance the master section, or by clicking on the pencil icon in the lower part of the main screen. The new master screen holds the mixer section for all the 24 pads, and in the lower section a master EQ, filter, compressor, limiter and mono stereo filter is added. So this allows you to do some additional things to your drum kit if needed. Now let's go back to the main screen again. By clicking the pencil icon inside the pad you can go to the advanced page for that particular pad. The advanced screen takes you to all the available edit screens for all types of drum sounds, loop slices or rect slices. Now you can see, for instance, the bass drum page. Pad 1 is selected to be a bass drum pad. But of course you can change it here and make it any pad you like. All the 24 pads are free in choice of what type of sound it should be. A drum pad can be one of the many synthesis drum modules, like this one for a clap. or this new one with additive synthesis. But also a sample pad, which already has many top-notch samples pre-installed, or just use your own samples using drag and drop. Just like the original punch, each pad has its own distortion module and you can address the EVIC section here. Yes, the easy page, or should I call it fun page, from punch can also be found in punch too. Listen to this example. The 
the next page inside Punch2 is the mod page. Here you can make use of two envelopes, two LFOs and the mod matrix to alter the various parameters of Punch2. If you are familiar with Punch, you know of course about the grooves and breaks, which are essentially pattern sequences you can trigger. They are also inside Punch2 and editing is much easier now. The FX page for Punch2 contains up to four different FX, which can have a different FX path. Now in Punch2 it is the fact that these four FX work in the default setting just like a mixer. So each pad has four FX sends and you can send each pad to four FX at once. But of course, to make Punch 2 compatible with Punch 1, or if you like that mode better, we also have included the Punch 1 FX mode. In this mode, you directly send each pad into one of the four FX. Then there is this new bank manager, which has three subsections. Git presets are the ones that also appear above in the preset menu. These are full kits with all settings, hence the name Kit Preset. So in the Kit Preset Manager, you can work with the Kit Presets and on the right hand side, you will find the many included banks that contains these Kit Presets. Drum Presets. Each pad also contains presets for each type of sound. These we call drum presets. So here you can find many presets for each type of drum sound. Pattern Manager. This section is for the grooves and breaks to organize them or for selecting them. Well, this is a brief introduction into Punch 2 and of course there are many more things to tell you about. Please check the other tutorials about Punch 2 in our YouTube playlist called Punch 2. Last but not least, I would like to mention this other exciting new feature in Punch2. Because if you listen to this preset and check this button, you can see Loop Play is active. You can also see that some pads show the word Slice. Well, this is one of the other cool new features. It can load Rex files or you can slice your own drum loop or any other rhythm sample from your own libraries. Punch2 allows you to slice a loop or use Rex files and place them into your pads. This way you can combine them with your original Punch2 sounds and the sequences and tweak them with the many features Punch2 has to offer. Punch 2 is easy to use, but most of all, fantastic in sound and unique in its creative features.